percentages of fractions with a denominator of 100. The symbol for percent is like that. So here we have a fraction bar and we can see that it's split into 100 pieces and we have 74 of those pieces shaded. So as a fraction we could write what we see as 74 over 100. As a decimal we could write 0 0.74 because we know that the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit and we have 74 hundredths. Notice also that what we have is the same as 7 tenths and 4 hundredths so that's why we have 0 0.74. But we can also write what we see here as a percentage. That's 74%. Notice it's not 74 over 100% because the percentage sign tells us that it has a denominator of 100. The percentage sign tells us that it's a fraction over 100. So here, as a fraction, we have 57 hundredths. As a decimal, we have 0 0.57. And as a percentage, we have 57%. And in this fraction bar, we have 30 hundredths, which we can write as a decimal as 0 0.3. We could write 0 0.30, but remember we don't need zeros on the ends of decimals. So, because 30 hundredths is the same as 3 tenths, we can just write 0 0.3. As a percentage, we can write 30% because we have 30 parts out of 100, and the percent sign tells us out of 100. We need to write these fractions as percentages. So first, we have 1 half. Now remember, a percentage is a fraction over 100, so we need to find a fraction equivalent to 1 half which has a denominator of 100. To find equivalent fractions, we can use multiplication. 2 times 50 is 100, and what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 1 times 50 is 50. So, because 1 half is equivalent to 50 hundredths, 1 half is 50%. Now, we have 1 quarter. Again, we need to find an equivalent fraction which has a denominator of 100. 4 times 25 is 100, because if you count up in 25s 4 times, you get 25, 50, 75, 100. So, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 1 times 25 is 25. So, that's 25%. And it's really important that we don't write 25 over 100% because the percentage sign already tells us out of 100. Now we have 1 fifth. 5 times 20 is 100 because if we count up in 20s 5 times we get 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. What we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator, 1 times 20 is 20. So, because 1 fifth is equivalent to 20 hundredths, that's the same as 20%. So let's have another look at these fractions. First, we had 1 half, so 1 part out of 2, and we can see that shaded here on our fraction bar. But a percentage is a fraction with a denominator of 100. So, if we split our fraction bar into hundredths, you can see that we have 50 hundredths, so that's why 1 half is 50%. Now, if we have a quarter, we have 1 part out of 4. But if we take off the quarters grid and replace it with a hundredths grid, you can see that we now have some half parts shaded which we need to rearrange and you can see that when we do that we get 25 hundredths so that's 25%. And finally we had one fifth 
so one part out of five. A percentage is a fraction over a hundred, and one-fifth is equivalent to twenty hundredths, so as a percentage, one-fifth is twenty percent. We need to write these fractions as percentages. So first, we have nine-tenths. Now remember, a percentage is a fraction over a hundred, so we need to find a fraction equivalent to nine-tenths, which has a denominator of a hundred. To find equivalent fractions, we use multiplication. Ten times ten is a hundred, and what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and nine times ten is ninety. So, because nine-tenths is equivalent to ninety-hundredths, that's the same as ninety percent. Now, we have three-fifths. Five times twenty is a hundred, because five times two is ten, so five times twenty must be one hundred. And again, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well. Three times twenty is sixty, so that's 60%. Now we have 17 twentieths. Again, we can find our equivalent fractions. 20 times 5 is 100. So now, to get our percentage, we need to work out 17 times 5. We can use short multiplication for this. So 7 times 5 is 35, so 3, 5. 1 times 5 is 5 plus 3 is 8. So, 17 twentieths is equivalent to 85 hundredths, which means it's the same as 85%. So, if we look at what we did here, first we had 9 tenths, so 9 parts out of 10 on our fraction bar. But a percentage is a fraction over 100, and we found that 9 tenths was equivalent to 90 hundredths, so that's 90%. Then we had 3 fifths. We found that that was equivalent to 60 hundredths, so 60%. And finally, we had 17 twentieths, so 17 parts out of 20. We found that that was equivalent to 85 hundredths, so as a percentage, 17 twentieths is 85%. We need to write these percentages as simplified fractions. So first, we have 30%. We know that a percentage is a fraction with a denominator of 100. So we can write 30% as 30 over 100. But to simplify fractions, we need to find equivalent fractions that use smaller numbers. So we use division to simplify fractions. Now the highest common factor of 30 and 100 is 10. So we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 10. 30 divided by 10 is 3. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So 30% is the same as 3 tenths. Now we have 2%, so that's 2 over 100. The highest common factor is 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. 100 divided by 2 is 50, so we can write 2% as 1 over 50. Finally, we have 40%, so that's 40 over 100. Now there are lots of common factors. 40 and 100 are both multiples of 2, multiples of 4, multiples of 5, multiples of 10, but the highest common factor of 40 and 100 is 20. 20 is the highest times table that has both 40 and 100 as multiples, so let's divide by 20. 40 divided by 20 is 2, because 2 times 20 is 40, and 100 divided by 20 is 5, because 5 times 20 is 100. So, as a fraction in its lowest terms, 40% is equal to 2 fifths. 
So let's have another look at this first question. We knew that 30% meant 30 over 100, but we simplified that to 3 tenths. So as a fraction in its lowest terms, 30% is 3 tenths. And you can see that by doing this, we're not changing the amount of the fraction bar that's shaded. But we've simplified the fraction because we're using smaller numbers. So the fraction isn't smaller, but the numbers are. Then we had 2%, so 2 parts out of 100. And we saw that 2 hundredths could be simplified to 1 fiftieth. Finally, we had 40%, so 40 parts out of 100. But we simplified that to 2 fifths. We need to change these decimals to percentages. So first, we have 0 0.03. Now remember, the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit, and a percentage is a fraction over a hundred. So, because 0 0.03 means that we have three hundredths, as a percentage, we write that as 3%. Now, we have 0 0.4, and here we need to be careful. Remember, the first digit after the decimal point is the tenths digit, so 0 0.4 means that we have 4 tenths. But a percentage is always a fraction which has a denominator of 100, so we need to find a fraction equivalent to 4 tenths with a denominator of 100. We can use multiplication to find equivalent fractions. 10 times 10 is 100, and what we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator as well, and 4 times 10 is 40. So, because 0 0.4, or 4 tenths, is equivalent to 40 hundredths, that's the same as 40%. Now, we have 0 0.23. As a fraction, we can write that as 23 hundredths because we can draw a line across from the decimal point and because we have two decimal places and the second decimal place is the hundredths place, we have 23 hundredths. So we can write that as 23%. Now 0 0.23 really means we have 2 tenths and 3 hundredths because the first digit is the tenths digit, and the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit. But to see why that's the same as 23 hundredths, we can use equivalent fractions. Two tenths is the same as 20 hundredths, because 10 times 10 is 100, and 2 times 10 is 20. So if we add the 3 hundredths, we get 23 hundredths, because remember when we add fractions, the denominator stays the same. So first we had 0 0.03. We knew that that was 3 hundredths, so 3%. Then it got a bit more confusing, because we had 0 0.4, but we knew that 0 0.4 means we have 4 tenths, and a percentage is always a fraction which has a denominator of 100. So, because we found that 4 tenths was equivalent to 40 hundredths, we knew that we could write that as 40%. Then we had 0 0.23. Really, that's 2 tenths and 3 hundredths, but 2 tenths and 3 hundredths is the same as 23 hundredths, so that's why 0 0.23 is 